All right, guys. <clears throat> Welcome to episode number two of uh, documenting the process of uh, creating an epic fitness slash motivational video. If you follow me since the start of this channel, I made a couple of fitness videos and uh, building on the previous episode, <clears throat> I want to create something unique. And uh, by documenting this process, I want to really show you how easy it is to find the uh, models to film, how easy it is to find people you kind of shoot with. Of course, it's way more complicated to find uh, professional actors and models, but for the thing I want to create is a fitness video, so I would like to find a person who is doing fitness, and that's uh, pretty much it. And the best way I will show you here on my phone, so I'm screen recording, my usual page on Instagram. And, uh, I'm based in Romania, in Cluj, which means you can search for the models by hashtags. And uh, I tried a couple of them. I tried like uh, Cluj Napoca. This is uh, where I'm where I'm at at the moment, my location. And uh, you can see. Some of them, you can start with the top one that has the most uh, posts and then you just scroll and try to see, okay, so we have this girl, okay, so she definitely works out. <clears throat> we can uh, check her Instagram, yes, she works out, she's, she's from Cluj and uh, you can follow and drop a message. Uh, keep in mind, if you encounter a new person, you have to really dedicate to explain in the first message your intentions otherwise it will be seen as a spam because the other person has to accept the invite of your first message message this is how uh, instagram is working at the moment and uh, yeah this is how i found it i it took me like two days to have this search and uh, i was I think I talked with uh, five potential prospects. I'm searching mostly for women who are doing fitness, women in uh, a good shape and that has specific facial features I find attractive and also cinematically good for the video. I tried this, this hashtag, you may try in your city as well. Just type hashtag your city or in life and whatever, whatever you can find. So I found this one, Cluj Life. Yeah, most mostly girls are posting on Instagram, so that's <laughs> that's a huge plus for us. Yeah, this is what I did. Like I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Okay, I'm like, okay, this uh, woman seems promising. Blah blah blah. You just type uh, the message. Most of the time, to have to create good content, you need a camera and a model to shoot. So I talked with uh, this prospect. Uh, let me see. With her. So overall I had uh, four conversations. I was uh, explaining, I was trying, trying, and this is not a technique, you have to really be genuine in order for the person to respond because this is more real. Like imagine you are talking to a real person because this is what you are doing in fact. Again people are overcomplicating, they are searching for uh, message templates. You, you don't need it, you just need to Turn on your imagination and uh, put yourself in the other person's shoes or from other person's perspective and try to understand how they will receive your message. So of course it's in Romanian because I'm in Romania. I will try to briefly tell you what happened. Uh, so we had some talk. So this is my first message. This is pretty long but concise at the same time. I made sure I added spaces to make it more uh, easy to read. Because remember, the first message is going to be in hidden requests and the person to accept it, he has to see that it's genuine. And I said along the lines of uh, hi, her name. I told her how I found her. I literally said I was searching by this hashtag. I'm telling her honestly that I didn't have, for a long time I didn't have uh, my own creative projects, most of the time I'm doing uh, clients' projects, and I feel this need to 
film and edit something epic. Yeah, I told her like, look, I have this intention to make a motivational fitness video. It will be cool. I will add uh, new techniques. If you're interested, I will show you my previous work and uh, talk further about the details. Also, I made sure in the first message to say that the project is not difficult. I just need two hours of her time and she only needs to be in the gym because with me or without me, she still goes to the gym. From her side, it's a very low effort. She just has to say yes. I'll just come, we meet and do my, do my own thing. So she responds. Uh, thanks for contact. I saw your work. They are very good. Uh, leave me the details. So I'm already impressed but because she checked me uh, uh, as well. I also made sure to like some of her posts to see that yes, I'm, I checked her profile. Uh, I say I, I feel honored and uh, I try to explain her shortly how I plan to make the video. So I said it will be focused on three aspects. The vibe, the style of the edit and the story. These are the key elements I want to add in the video and I know the references I can show her so she can more or less understand what I'm what I want to make with her. Want it. And that's the harsh reality. You're lazy, you know exactly what to do. It just sucks doing it. What are you doing? Something along those lines. You have a narrative voice. So I wanted to integrate her voice as a narrative to enhance the story of uh, her fitness journey, like why she does it. Because we need to make this personal contact with the audience, otherwise the video will just look cool and will not have uh, the same impact. This is what I understood from experience of making videos. <clears throat> so she did not, she hesitated about the voiceover for the narrative, this is what she said. She also told, the, told about the vibe that she prefers her own gym because uh, she feels more comfortable there and I agree this was my intention uh, from the start. She told me if I was at the gym located at X. I said no, but uh, I know the gym. And then I sent her... Uh, I mean, she stopped responding. Uh, of course, people are busy, especially fitness trainers. But I found this cool video from David. Uh, he would just approach randomly a woman who is also in shape doing American football. This is my intention as well. I just come in, I don't interrupt your workflow, but I'm just next to you capturing the shots. And uh, how I'm doing it, it's totally my job. Uh, I don't prefer to stop people like, to maintain a pose or something sometimes, but uh, when it comes to working out, I prefer this method. Then I told her about the microphone, like, okay, look, uh, we can eliminate this. It's, not necessary to be your own voice, but you can tell me the athletes or people you admire and we can use their own voice into your video. She said, yes, this looks uh, better. Uh, she said that the gym uh, at her location, it's small. She proposed like to come take a visit and check the location to see if it's good. And also told me that on Saturdays, mostly she is more free to, to do the shoot. Most of people, most of you will assume that, oh yes, finally she agreed. But no, my, my intention is to make the model also enthusiastic and give me a yes from her side. Because if I push, it can happen two things. First, I will get rejected. Like, okay, he's too pushy. I don't like to be pushed. People usually don't like, don't like this. And second, even if they agree while me pushing, uh, the vibe will be off because it will be not a so freely dynamic, psychological dynamic, I mean, but it's very important for people to feel comfortable around you, especially if you are holding a camera <laughs> and trying to capture them. Otherwise, it will, no matter the shot, it will look like shit. So it's, uh, you have to keep in mind. Okay, I mean, I sent uh, this video late at night. I didn't expect she was responding, but she responded because she said she came uh, at home. Uh, she commented on my stories, it's a good sign. <clears throat> she asked me, like, uh, 
you may encounter some of this, I mean, if you come from pickup community shit tests. She asked like, why did you propose this to me, right? So I'm like, okay, I have to come up with three reasons. So I came up with three general reasons. I said like, look, there are three reasons. First, you're in pretty good shape and your muscle development is balanced. You, and I said, usually uh, women are having overdeveloped uh, lower, lower body compared to the upper body, but you seem very balanced. Second, from your post, I understood that you are dedicating what you do and this dedication I want to portray in uh, the video. And third is you're staying in the same city as I, so why not? Like, I just come in, make content for you and for me and it's a win-win. It's I see in this situation. Also, I added uh, to make this offer more appealing, like, look, I'm not making just one video for you, but because I will be there for two hours and capture footage from different angles, you will have lots of footage to choose from and to create your own posts for Instagram, for stories, TikTok, whatever. Then I said that I didn't make these creative projects and uh, I kind of missed them and I showed my very first uh, fitness video and I want to surpass the quality of uh, that one. Uh, if you want to see it, check it on my, on my YouTube, I will have a link below. And uh, yeah, I said like, I'm curious how better I, I, I have become. And she said, okay, we can try. Now I finally got her positive response from her side. Again, I did not push, I was just showing the information, trying to create a context for her to analyze. On Saturdays, this is when we have to make the shoot. And she said, yes, uh, Saturday is perfect, the gym is more empty and uh, we can do it then. And she told me that uh, the schedule of the gym, so I did not respond yet. Say it's today. So I have to, again, check my client projects for the next week and see how I can uh, build this around. Okay, I, I think that's enough for the screen recording. On first episode, I made, I had this idea. On the second, I found the model and the location. On the episode number three, I wanted to share my creative process, uh, how I will uh, design the project, like making this pre-production. I will show this uh, workflow with you guys. The next would be to practice some camera movements with uh, this one. And I will try, I will try to film the behind the scenes of how I'm doing this video, the filming process and then the editing process and of course the final result of this video. So this is my intention to show you the step-by-step -step process. I would say my easy step-by-step -step process. I was checking other filmmakers and they were coming with different apps and ideas and storyboards and all these kinds of stuff. Usually it comes down to you have an idea, you have a, a shot, you have the shots in mind, like beginning, story, end, and you just go and capture it and then go to the editing process. And the more you do it, the better you become, the more you will, uh, you will need less tools for pre-production because you already understand in your head, you just need some text. Uh, yeah, if you can if you come this far uh, Thanks for watching. I feel honored for you to watch it and uh, yeah, stay tuned. This is uh, this is the way <laughs> We uh, today is Sunday, so wish you a happy and productive week